two words come to mind when I think of Crystal Bear. That would be purpose and passion. Every day she teaches with the purpose of educating her kids, not only in biology, but helping them be successful in life. And she does so with such passion that all her kids want to learn because she, they can feel her love for them. Um, she's always thinking outside the box. She has that whatever it takes attitude when it comes to teaching kids. She can break out into a rap song. She can start dancing. Whatever it takes to get these kids to understand what she's trying to say. So she thinks out of the box. She also wants students to be act active participants in their learning. She, a lot of her lessons are based off student inquiry and the students love that because that's something they're interested in. Um, she's really interactive with students, like she doesn't give you busy work. She'll, she always, she's very repetitive and like she'll just, I don't know, she just makes you know it. It's weird. Like she'll just ask you questions and then if you know the question, she'll ask you again to make sure you know it. She does a lot of like, you get up and like go talk to other students about what she just said. And, so if I have a black chicken and a hello white chicken, are you going to give them both the same one? You're not? Okay. Can we do that? We could. Okay. So if they're homozygous or heterozygous, or did it tell you? Things like today we're making like posters about genetics and stuff, and other times we'll do stuff on our iPads, or we'll get up and do like group discussions, or like one time we came out in the hallway and made like a model out of ourselves. like. And so it's not boring. There's something new every day. And the desks are never in the same area either. So you have like a new perspective of the classroom. She makes people understand it. She goes into detail on what the subject's about. And she teaches us in a different kind of way so that we understand it better. Next thing is our independent practice. You are going to work in your collaborative learning. So our legal statement. We will assess our knowledge of non-Mendelian genetics through project-based learning. So we look around the classroom. Do we do a lot of project-based learning? Yes. 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 Okay. You will use Socratic to answer questions over non-Mendelian genetics. Did you do it? Yes. You're halfway done. You're going to create a poster project over incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Go to camp. We love Miss Bear. We love what she brings to Brewer High School, and she loves our students. Thank you, Miss Bear.